Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my 32 week pregnancy update and I'm actually super excited about today's update because yesterday we went to my 32 week checkup and I got a sonogram so I have some sonogram pictures here to show you which I'll show you here in a second. But everything went so well and I'm super excited to tell you all of the updates that the sonographer gave us. Before I get into today's update, I just want to quickly say Sophia is obviously here filming with me today. She's sitting on the bed and I have some toys over here for her while I film so you guys are going to be hearing her throughout the video. So I'm sorry about that, but I'm just going to hop right into today's update. First things first, let's talk about the ultrasound. I'll show you guys the pictures really quickly. She was really, really stubborn and the sonographer said that she was like being so stubborn and it was so hard to get her face, but this was the best picture we got and I was actually super happy with it. Like you could see her little hand right here, her nose, her two eyes and her mouth. And I think she has like the same exact lips as Sophia. So I really love this picture and other than that we didn't get um, a ton of good ones but we got that one, this one which you could kind of see like her little eye sockets and her squished little nose and then these ones are also pretty cute because you can see her chubby little cheeks and her nose but my placenta was in the way the whole time and she just would not turn her face to us so it was kind of hard to get these pictures, but I'm really glad that we got what we got. But the sonographer measured her heartbeat first. It was at 152, which is pretty much where it's been around my whole pregnancy. If you've been watching, you know it's been in the 150s pretty much the whole time. And then she did measure her like estimated weight, and she said she's measuring at around 4 pounds, 11 ounces, and that's in the 72nd or 75th percentile, which is actually pretty big because I know Sophia was around... Not the smaller side, but like the average side. She definitely wasn't 4 pounds 11 ounces when I had my 3D ultrasound with her. So she's a little chunk. The sonographer was saying the whole time while she was putting the Doppler on me that every time she moved it over the baby that she would like turn and flop all over the place. She was asking me if I could feel all the movement, which I could feel some of it at the time. She was like kicking all over the place. And she said that she's so active. She also confirmed that Mila is head down, which I figured because I told her I was feeling all of the movement, like, up here. And I told you guys, I think in my last pregnancy update, that I was feeling all of my kicks on this side of my stomach, like, all the way over here. And she said that those are where her little feet are and asked me if that's where I've been feeling a lot of my kicking. And I definitely have. I've tried to get so many videos of her kicking over here, but it's so hard to see because of the position that she's in. But that's pretty much all that went down at my sonogram. She said that the baby looks perfect and everything looks absolutely perfect, which is super reassuring to me. And it just made me so happy to see her. Me and Gage were just so ecstatic the whole time and the sonographer could even tell how happy she was and she was trying so hard to get good pictures of Mila's face for us, but she just couldn't. Um, but we were just so happy. I also had a regular checkup, so after my sonogram, I went back in the waiting room, and they took my urine. But once I was called back in, it was just a standard checkup. They didn't check the baby's heartbeat because they had already done that during the sonogram, which I said was 152. And then she did measure my belly, which was measuring at 32 weeks, so I've actually been measuring a week behind my entire pregnancy, pretty much, but this time I'm, like, right on track, so my belly has pretty much grown, like, two weeks and one um during the last week or so so that's really good and i can say i've definitely noticed that as well because my stomach feels so much bigger and i was having so much like stretching pain i talked to you guys in my last update about my pregnancy hernia which i still have she did check it and i think she could feel it but she said that she's not like really concerned about it still she'll check it after i give birth and just see if it went away but as for my pregnancy hernia, like the pain and everything, it has subsided so much. I told you guys I was at a point where I could barely walk towards the end of the day and I'm feeling much better. The pain has definitely decreased by a ton, which is so good. It obviously still hurts here and there, but it's just so much less sensitive, like the touch and everything. And I think also what had a lot to do with all of the pain that I was having was the stretching and round ligament pain on top of the hernia, like both combined was making me have so much pain and pressure in my stomach so thankfully I'm finally feeling so much better but that's pretty much all I talked about with my actual doctor and then she actually had a nurse come in which me and Gage were a little confused about as to why we were having a nurse come in because we never had that happen before but she just came in to talk to us mostly about like delivery and symptoms of pregnancy she said she was supposed to do this during my first trimester and she doesn't know how she missed me 
but I'm obviously in my third trimester now. So she came in and talked to us about delivery because as I've told you guys, we are delivering at a different hospital this time because our doctor's office is connected with a new hospital that's a little bit farther away. So she gave us a paper and some information about that and said we could schedule a tour, which we already did. We have our hospital tour coming up on September 7th, which I'm super excited about. Just me and Gage are gonna go and check out the hospital and see what it's like. This hospital, was just recently updated in their labor and delivery area and they have a ton of like new things that I didn't have with Sophia's birth like they said they had a pool in the room for like contraction relief and stuff if you want that they have like the delayed cord clamping which I don't think I'm gonna do any of that but they just have a ton of different like options for you as a mother and a ton of different support like lactation consultants and all that which is really great to hear since it is a new hospital and a new environment for me so we're gonna check that out in a couple of weeks the only other thing that the nurse talked to us about was that I was eligible for a free breast pump which I actually didn't know but my insurance covers a breast pump for me that was not the case with Sophia so that's really cool and I'm definitely gonna take advantage of that even though I already have a breast pump but it's always good to have a backup but I just wanted to mention that in case any of you are new mamas or pregnant mamas and you haven't heard from your doctor whether you're eligible for a free breast pump through your insurance you should definitely question them and ask them if your insurance covers it and let them check because if you don't have a breast pump or you just want an extra one that's a really good thing that they supply that for free so definitely ask your doctor but that's pretty much all that went down at my actual appointment it was just a super exciting appointment for us because we got to see Mila obviously I'm not sure when I'll have my next ultrasound I'm pretty sure I get one more before the birth but it's way closer to if I even make it that far um, but I have another appointment in two weeks, and then after that I have another one in two weeks, and then from there on I start going every week, which is just insane that I'm already getting to that point where we have to go every week. So I guess moving on to some symptoms that I've had, I haven't really had many symptoms this week, I already talked to you about the hernia, but I wrote down that sleeping has gotten very much noticeably harder. I've I think I've talked about this in my last pregnancy update, but since then, like, sleeping has been so hard. My belly has just grown so much that rolling over, I'm having so much back pain and just, like, tightening around my stomach area. So it's so hard to roll over at night. I wake up, like, every single hour, if not 30 minutes to every hour to pee or just I cannot sleep. Like, last night, I actually got sick last night, so I was up a little bit more, and Sophia's been sick, so we been barely getting any sleep. I woke up at like 4 a.m. last night and I could not get myself back to sleep so that's really been sucking. I'm also still having a little bit of the restless leg syndrome that I talked to you guys about. My legs are just so uncomfortable at night and they're constantly moving and I'm constantly stretching them and trying to just get them to relax so sleeping has been so hard. Sleeping didn't really get hard with Sophia until I would say the last month but I'm definitely much bigger this pregnancy so I think that's what's contributing to it happening so early this time for me another thing I've noticed is my appetite has actually decreased a lot like in the morning I'm super hungry I have to eat right away which has pretty much been throughout my whole pregnancy but it kind of tapers off throughout the day by lunchtime I'm not super hungry and by dinner time I'm absolutely not hungry at all I've been wanting to skip dinner so much but I obviously don't want to do that just for the baby's sake. And also, if I do skip dinner, I get super sick and nauseous. So I have to eat something no matter what. And I've been eating a lot of cereal lately because that's the only thing that I can like force myself to eat. Because it's pretty light, I would say. And I just have like a bowl or two of that for dinner with like a banana in it. And I call it a night. And usually I'm even a big snacker at night, especially when I'm pregnant. In the past couple of weeks, that has not been the case. Except for the other night. I actually had like a random craving for pretzels and like sour cream dip at like midnight it probably was. I was telling Gage and he was actually like, do you want me to go get it for you? He was literally going to run to the store at midnight to go get it for me. But I told him no and then he ended up coming home with it the next day after work. So I wanted like the pretzel sticks with like the sour cream dip. And I actually make my own sour cream dip but he just got me one from the store that they had. But this weekend I want to make my own homemade one because that just sounds so good. So I guess that's kind of like a craving I've been having. And then another craving that I've been having is lime chips, which is so weird. Like the tortilla, um, like chips with the lime hint. But 
yeah guys that is pretty much my pregnancy update for this week i don't think it was a super long update because i really didn't have much to talk about but i did want to update you guys on the sonogram and everything and i'm also going to give you guys a quick bump shot after i wrap up this video here so i'm going to do that real quick and then i'm going to come back and say goodbye to you guys I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in old conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep So yeah guys, that is gonna be my 32 week pregnancy update for this week I probably will do another update in two weeks when I go back for my appointment because I've been doing them every two weeks But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video I'm sorry if Sophia was a huge distraction behind me, but this was the only time Today I was going to have to film this video, so I hope you guys enjoy. If you want to see more videos of mine, make sure to hit the subscribe button down there. Like I said, we're trying to get to 500 subs before Mila is here. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Bye guys. <laughs> You're so cute. Bye guys. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever. And I feel so free.